with Fat Gang. It's your girl, Mickey, checking in, guys. And today, 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 I just wanted to hop on here real quick <laughs> and talk to you guys. Um, I am at work, but I had some people who were um, interested in some of my items. And they were like, oh, we've been seeing your posts and we're always talking about your business. Do you happen to have any items on me? Yes, I do, baby. Yes, I do. So, um, and I have brought some additional items in, but I do keep things on me. I keep plenty of pictures of my products and my phone. I'm very knowledgeable of what I have in stock and everything like that. So basically, I wanted to hop on here and just talk to you guys about staying ready. When you um, have a business, you always wanna make sure you have plenty of business cards on you. You wanna make sure that you keep your inventory at a good stock. I know like for me, certain items um, sell fast. So I try to keep those in. A lot of my dominoes and like ashtrays and things, I try not to do the same design twice. So those are pretty custom, but um, you know, like my shirts and things like that. Like this one is our one of our uh, Feral logos there. And I keep that one pretty much in stock, but it's always a matter of staying ready. If you stay ready, you never have to get ready. And you don't want to turn a customer down for an order or make them wait longer than they have to because something that's kind of popular for you, you don't have in stock. So make sure you keep photos of your products in your phone. I've even, like, if I'm at a pop-up shop, I have a binder with me that I keep. And it has pictures in there of items that I've made before. That way, when you're telling them, oh, I can do custom, I can do this or that, they can see things that you've done um, before. And that gives them kind of an idea of what you make and do for them or um, to show them your range of abilities and what you can do. So make sure you keep plenty of business cards on you. If you have like the, uh, what do you call those? Like the brochure cards that are a little bigger, the flyer more like cards. Keep those on you. Keep your business cards. Make sure, obviously, you know your website front ones and backwards so you can give that out. Um, I always keep a tab open in my phone with my website just so I can easily pull it up, show individuals my website. I always kind of promote my um, email list. You know, at that, even if you're not a person who sends out a lot of emails, it's always good for them to have um, to sign up for your email list because then you have them in your customer accounts if you have a website. And that way, when you do send out emails, they can get it that way. You can offer exclusive deals and sales. Um, I always keep a promo in my um, website for maybe like 10, 15% off. Those are great introductory rates. Sometimes because it is a discount, somebody will be more inclined to shop and hop on your site, see what it is. And to some people, 10% may not be a lot, but to some people, it's enough to hop on your site and see what you have. Now they can see things that you may not have mentioned, but they can see your work. They can leave product reviews and everything like that. People will be a little more inclined. When you know about your business and you keep your knowledge base up as far as the kind of shirts you use, the material, if you're using um, high quality resin, the temperature on it and everything like that. The more knowledgeable you are, the more inclined someone is to shop with you and support your business. So. That's kind of the quick business tip I have for you guys today. I'm going to head back in. If you like this video and want more of these, make sure you guys smash that like button and comment that down below. Love you all so much. And until next time, I'll catch y'all later.